Hello and welcome to Nick's Allotment Diary. So today I'm going to be planting my onions. These are from a company called DT Brown. They're heat treated sets. So I've got two varieties. Uh, one variety, the white onion, which is called high tech. And the other, which is a rosy red onion called sweet rosy. first thing I'm going to do is sort through the onion sets and discard any ones that uh, are damaged or soft. So anything that feels a bit soft or looks a bit mouldy or manky. Um, I'll just go through these. So that one feel, this one feels a bit soft on that side so I'll discard that one. I'll just transfer all the decent ones into another tray so I know which ones I've checked. So here's an example I definitely want to get rid of. Soft and mouldy so no use at all. But the majority of them feel firm so pretty good. So these are the discarded ones, ones that are soft or mouldy, and these are the ones that I'm going to be able to plant. So not too bad. You're always going to get some that uh, deteriorate. I've stored them a few weeks since they've arrived. They did say not to plant them out till uh, early April, so I've hung on before I planted them. The advantage of heat treated sets is that they're supposed to not bolt or produce uh, flowers. The problem with some onion sets is in certain weather conditions they can uh, cause the onion to flower, uh, so called bolting. Basically you've got a flower stalk that runs through the centre of the onion so it doesn't store very well. So I've used heat treated sets last year and they were a great success for me so I thought I'd uh, try this again this year so now I'll move on to the high-tech white onions on first glance they seem in better condition than the red ones we'll see when we go through but I think there's going to be less ones that I'll have to reject so I'll bring you back once I've gone through them all. Well, what a difference. That's the ones that passed. That's the rejected. So non-rejected from that one at all. So they were in much better condition than the rosy red. But I have got plenty of rosy red onions now. More than I'm going to need to plant. So I don't think uh, I'm going to raise any issue particularly with the company. So I'm going to start with the Sweet Rosy onions. Uh, I've put a line across so I can sort of do a straight line. Uh, bury your onion with the pointed bit up because that's the growing tip. Um, you only need to just leave a little bit of it showing above the surface and then I'm going to plant them about the length of this trowel between each one of them. That's about maybe six inches, five inches I think it is. Um, as I say I'm just going to plant them just below the surface just so the little tops are just about pointing out. And they should do fine. So I've planted the first row. I've been using that wooden board to walk on the soil so as not to compact the soil. Uh, this is one of my no dig beds so I don't really want to uh, compact the soil too much by walking on it. 
So using a board at least uh, spreads the weight a bit when you're uh, walking on the soil. So I've moved the string across now. Um, I've allowed about um, nine inches between rows. I want to make it relatively easy to weed between the rows um, with a hoe if possible. So um, I'm allowing a bit of space just so that I can get in relatively easily. So now I'm going to plant the next row of onions. So once again, just make a little hole and point the end up, level with the uh, first row. Just plant your onion set. Pretty easy to do and hopefully I should get a good crop of onions from them. I now have three rows of the sweet rosy onions in and now I'm going to plant the white high tech onions over on this second half of the bed. So I've planted four rows of the white onions. I didn't have quite enough to finish off the row so there was uh, just four space for four sets so I've uh, put up four of the rosy red on the last row just to fill up the row so that's over a hundred onions planted in this bed which should be plenty I'm just going to put a bit of a net over now the uh, bed just to um, stop the birds from pulling up the onions Sometimes birds can mistake the tops of onions for worms and pull them up and also uh, they can just uh, push out of the ground themselves as well as the uh, onion roots it can sometimes push up. I'm just going to put a net over them uh, to keep the birds off anyway. There we go, so I've put some scaffold netting over the tops of the onions. Just uh, pegged it down and weighted it down with a few bricks. So as soon as I see the onions starting to produce green shoots, I'll remove the netting because I'll know that they're well rooted and the birds won't uh, bother pulling them up then. Thanks very much for joining me at Nick's Allotment. I'll see you again next time. So today I'm going to be planting my onions, being heckled by a bird. So that's over a hundred 